going on 744 on a Wednesday since so Xero here with you welcome back to BT we are days away from the solar eclipse yeah that's taking place on April 8th and it's becoming a huge travel trend right now here to share some of the best spots to view it in and around the GTA in Ontario is travel expert Jennifer Weatherhead Harrington. Jen, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, all right, so this is a thing now. <laughs> Astro tourism, uh, how on trend is it? It is so on trend. I mean, definitely solar eclipse is on trend right now. Probably the biggest travel trend we're seeing so far in 2024, but astro tourism in general. So that's essentially you're traveling around the world to different places to observe stars, the planets, see you know a meteor shower or an eclipse so it's a really booming thing it's kind of picked up since the pandemic when people were stuck at home and they kind of looked up at the sky <laughs> wondering where they could go but it's a huge trend right now so we happen to be very lucky to be a part of this trend especially in ontario okay uh, before we, we dive into the specific locales where you can watch this unbelievable event coming up this monday what should people keep in mind? What do they need to know? Well, first of all, I mean, if you haven't already booked a hotel to stay in any of these places that I'm going to be talking about, you're probably just going to be driving. So you want to prepare for doing pretty much a very, very long road trip. <laughs> you want to have snacks. You want to be prepared to sit in traffic for a while. There are going to be a lot of road closures. And just take your time. You know, you want to make sure that you are having a good experience, but be patient because it is definitely going to be busy. And again, snacks. <laughs> pack, snacks. Pack heavy with the snacks. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so let's start here in Toronto because we're and we're gonna get to Niagara here in a second because that's the hot spot or one of the hot spots. But here in the city proper, what do you suggest? Yeah, so right now in the city, there's going to be a lot of things happening downtown where you can take in it in. Again, it's not a total eclipse happening in Toronto. We have a near total eclipse happening here. So still going to be spectacular if you're not looking to leave the city. Still have great viewing options. Just make sure that you do have those solar eclipse sunglasses. That's I didn't mention must. that before. Not to be confused with regular sunglasses. That will not work. So make sure you grab some of those either online or find out if whatever location you're going to will have some on hand. Okay, so now let's move outside of the city of Toronto to the epicenter of <laughs> this totality that's happening on Monday. Again, it's around 3.19 p.m. next Monday, the Niagara region. Yeah. So don't even try to get a hotel room right now in the Niagara region? Is that I what you're mean, saying? I mean, it's pretty much sold out, and if you do manage to find one, you're going to be paying a lot of money. <laughs> yes. A lot of money. Yes. So best option probably if you haven't booked something is to do the drive there but again there are going to be road closures so the city of niagara falls niagara parks and fort erie have all said that they will have some road closures there are going to be parking lots available you want to check out all of their websites from those parking lots you'll be able to get shuttles to viewing locations again pack your patience i know we've said this many times usually at airports but when it comes to driving there are going to be a lot of people there i mean we're talking about a huge influx of people that the city's not used to having all at once. So also plan to leave a little bit later if you can stagger your times, that will save you some driving as well. And also if you miss one of those shuttles and you're in like a Tim Hortons parking lot and you have the glasses, look up. Yeah, the best thing is you can see it from yes. anywhere pretty much. Um, Hamilton as well yeah. is a decent spot. Yeah, so they have a ton of great options. They have a lot of events that are happening even leading up to the actual event. So for families, the Planetarium at McMaster University has a lot of programming, education, things for kids. They have an Indigenous Perspectives discussion as well, which is really important. It's cool to hear what their side of things are, how this is affecting them and their culture. And then you also have the Royal Astronomical Society. They have an event that's happening. You do need to register for that one. And then the city of Hamilton also has a lot of great viewing spots. They will have some of the eclipse glasses available while supplies last. So check out the Tourism Hamilton website. It gives you all of those details on what you can expect. We have about 30 seconds left, Jen. You have a couple more locations quickly. Yes. Well, first of all, Kingston. I think Kingston is a pretty underrated spot in Ontario, but a great spot to drive to if you want to do that as well. But the cool thing that I think you can do here, you can do some walking tours of the city beforehand, but they also have this really cool sauna. It's called Stoke Sauna, and they're doing a challenge where if you can stay in a cold plunge for the full three minutes and four seconds, the total time of their eclipse, you can get some free eclipse sunglasses and some bragging rights. Also, some challenges are on offer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you exactly. You can hang there. Okay, great. Uh, where can people find you online? You can find me on Instagram at Jen Weatherhead. Awesome. All right. If you're going to enjoy the totality, <laughs> that is the solar eclipse on Monday. There's plenty of places to go. 
just be careful. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for having me. I'm throwing a break. We're doing a thing where we're, we're throwing the celebrations, and my voice is going to go really high saying you. Do you want to join me? <laughs> oh, I should have prepped it beforehand. I didn't. <laughs> coming up after the break.